We've been experiencing the effects of climate change in real time. By the end of the decade, the population could grow by another half billion people and well over 10 billion by the turn of the next century. We face a monumental challenge. We must feed our planet's exploding population while eliminating dangerous greenhouse gas emissions into our atmosphere. New horizons are emerging in agriculture. New industries, new products, and advancements in processes and procedures that reduce carbon outputs and result in environmental improvements. Our challenges aren't only environmental, they're also economic. One resulting in boarded up downtown squares, crumbling infrastructure, underfunded schools, closed medical clinics, and a lack of high paying quality jobs. Agriculture and conservation have to work hand in hand. And I never met anybody who brings those two together better than Rudy Raceline. My vision is that we could take grasses and put them in the same anaerobic digestion process and make additional methane. We want to make gas, we want to have ecological services, and we want to have wildlife habitat. Throughout the settlement and expansion of our country, nature took a backseat to economic growth. Today we are righting many of those wrongs by finding ways to make financial gains while also delivering environmental improvements. Trudy's grand vision of being able to restore 30 million acres of prairie. We're at the ground floor here of our really grand vision. 30 million acres in 30 years, we would see, I think, our polar caps getting a little chillier. Our farmers would be more productive. We can have more habitat for wildlife. We can have cleaner water, we can have renewable fuels, and that we are helping make the whole country better. We're not <laughs> changing the trajectory of biodiversity loss in this country. I'm getting a little bit emotional here, but it's because I'm really passionate about this. Horizon 2 is devoted to finding that level of participation that we think is necessary to integrate biomass as a resource for our anaerobic digesters. We hope that through that grant opportunity we're going to learn a lot. I think we're going to be so much further ahead as a result of this opportunity. To have that five-year time horizon to be able to really figure out how to put the system together in a way that will not only benefit the land, but also make it beneficial to farmers. Should we count the petals? Yeah. So what makes me happy is when I see my employees fully engaged and they're passionate about our business and they realize they're making a difference and that the visions that I have are making a difference. This planet is so, so special. And so what makes me happy is, is taking problems and people looking at problems and turning into opportunities that they never imagined.